SNP leader Stephen Flynn. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, when the Tories scrapped the cap on bankers' bonuses in the autumn during a cost of living crisis, the Labour Party rightly opposed it. Yet here we are, just three months later, and the Labour Party support scrapping the cap on bankers' bonuses. Shameful. But is the Prime Minister comforted by the fact that he's now no longer alone in this House on being completely out of touch with public opinion? Well, Mr Speaker, as I said at the time, we supported the decision of the independent regulator because this was the right thing for financial stability. But that, Mr Speaker, is because on this side of the House, we have a set of convictions and we have a plan and we stick to it. But he's absolutely right to point out the flip-flopping and U-turning and no convictions of the party opposite. Of course, Mr Speaker, scrapping the cap on bankers' bonuses was only made possible due to Brexit. So what the Westminster parties are now telling the public is that it's, it's OK for bankers to have unlimited Brexit bonuses, yep. but for the yep. public sitting at home struggling to feed their families, they have to suck up and deal with the additional food price costs as a result of Brexit red tape. Yeah, yeah, that is the cost yeah, yeah. and that is the reality of broken Brexit Britain. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it the case that the great achievement of this Tory government is getting the Labour Party to agree to that bleak future? Yeah. Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, we're actually delivering benefits for people across Scotland, not just least in new free trade deals that are opening up markets for Scottish exporters, free ports that are attracting jobs and investment, the Brexit pubs guarantee, cutting the cost of a pint in, uh, in Scottish pubs. But when he talks about the cost of living, Mr Speaker, the thing that he could do most to help is make sure that Scotland isn't the highest tax part of the United Kingdom. Not, and it's not just for high earners, Mr Speaker. Everybody earning £28,500 or more is paying more tax in Scotland than they would in England, thanks to the SNP. Yeah.